Ever wondered what would happen if Earth was swallowed by a black hole? A question that tickles the curiosity of many, yet sends shivers down the spine of even the most ardent space enthusiasts. Black holes, these enigmatic celestial bodies, have long been a subject of fascination and fear. A mysterious void in the cosmos, where the laws of physics seem to crumble, and time as we know it, comes to a standstill. In the vast expanse of our universe, they lurk in silence, their presence only revealed by the gravitational pull they exert on their surroundings. Scientists have been studying them for decades, yet they remain largely a mystery. Theories abound, each more intriguing than the last, painting a picture of these cosmic phenomena that is both terrifying and captivating. As we delve into the abyss of the unknown, let us first understand what black holes really are. Hold on tight, as we embark on this cosmic journey into the heart of darkness. Black holes, the cosmic entities of mystery and dread, but what are they really? Let's dive into the scientific theories behind these enigmatic phenomena. The concept of black holes is deeply rooted in Einstein's theory of general relativity. This groundbreaking theory proposed in the early 20th century describes how massive objects like stars and planets distort the fabric of space-time, essentially creating a gravity well around them. Now, imagine a star much larger than our sun. This star has lived a long fiery life, burning through its nuclear fuel over millions if not billions of years. But eventually, the fuel runs out. The star, no longer able to maintain its nuclear reactions, cannot resist the crushing force of its own gravity. It collapses in on itself, with such immense force that it punches a hole in the fabric of space-time, and thus, a black hole is born. Imagine if you will, our humble planet Earth being pulled into the gravitational well of a black hole. What would happen? Let's delve into this unthinkable scenario. We've all seen science fiction movies with spaceships disappearing into black holes, but what if Earth were the ship? As we approach the black hole we would first experience a phenomenon known as spaghettification. Yes, you heard that right. Named after the pasta, it's a term coined by scientists to describe what happens to objects under intense gravitational forces. In our case, Earth would start to stretch and squeeze under these forces. The side of Earth nearest to the black hole would feel a stronger pull than the side farther away, causing our planet to elongate into a spindle shape, much like a piece of spaghetti. Mountains, oceans, and everything we know would be distorted beyond recognition. But that's not all. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so strong that it doesn't just bend space, it bends time too. This is called gravitational time dilation. To an observer far away it would seem as if time on Earth is slowing down. Every tick of the clock, every beat of your heart would seem to take longer and longer. Imagine for a moment the last sunset on this stretched and squeezed Earth. It's light taking an eternity to reach your eyes, the colors shifting from the familiar hues we know, to something completely alien due to the extreme gravitational redshift. By the time Earth reaches the event horizon, the point of no return, it would have been torn apart into its constituent atoms, stretched out into a thin, glowing stream of plasma spiraling into the black hole. It's a truly terrifying scenario, isn't it? But how likely is it to happen? The question now is, should we be worried about this apocalyptic scenario? Well imagine this, you're in a vast desert, and you're asked to mark one specific grain of sand. The odds of another person picking out the exact grain you've marked from the entire desert are astronomical, aren't they? That's roughly the same chance of our beloved Earth being swallowed by a black hole. In the grand cosmic scheme black holes are not wayward vagabonds, aimlessly wandering the universe looking for planets to devour. Quite the contrary. They are anchored in space by their immense gravity, often residing at the centers of galaxies. Now let's talk numbers. The closest known black hole to Earth is named V616 Monocerotis, also known as V616 Mon. It's located in the constellation of Monoceros about 3,000 light years away. To put that into perspective, if you were to travel at the speed of light, it would take you 3,000 years to reach it. That's older than the pyramids of Giza, older than the invention of writing. It's a mind-boggling distance, taking into account the sheer size of the universe and the relative scarcity of black holes, the odds of our planet being gobbled up by one are thankfully, microscopic. However, it's important to note that our understanding of black holes, while extensive, is still evolving. Every new discovery is a piece of the puzzle, helping us understand these cosmic behemoths better. In conclusion, 
While the concept of Earth being swallowed by a black hole makes for a thrilling science fiction plot, in reality, it's an event of such low probability that it's almost negligible. So, while the thought of being swallowed by a black hole is terrifying, rest assured that it's highly unlikely. For now, the mysteries of black holes remain a fascinating subject of scientific exploration. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narration.